In this video, we will discuss iterative project lifecycle with real-life examples, e-commerce website, and payday loan projects. We will use software development project domain to explain the iterative project lifecycle. Therefore, this video is also an explanation of the iterative SDSC model. In our past video on types of project lifecycle, we described the following characteristics of iterative lifecycle. The product may be complex and fairly unpredictable, and changes are expected. There is one single delivery. A project is completed in several small cycles. Product versions of prototypes are created and refined in each cycle, up to the last cycle when the final version is delivered. The phases within each cycle may occur in sequence or overlap. The goal is to achieve correctness of the solution. Prototype and spiral models follow the iterative life cycle. Therefore, for the e-commerce website and the payday loan example projects in this video, we assume that the product may be complex or fairly unpredictable and changes are expected. There is need to show development progress to the customer and gain a better understanding of the product. It is desirable to have one single delivery in the last cycle after several cycles of refinement. Note that you are not iterating if you are just dev developing a product in several cycles without refining the product. Also, in the iterative life cycle, each product version could include requirements from different modules or sessions of the product as there is often the desire to build as much cross-session of the product as possible in each cycle. In this general illustration, between the start and the close phases of a project, there are several small cycles. The phases from requirement analysis to test are repeated in each cycle and could occur in sequence in parallel or overlap. Delivery is done in the last cycle. We will use sequential phases in this illustration. So, in the first cycle, the first product version is created but not deployed. The feedback received is used to modify the first product version in the second cycle and new features could also be developed to create a second product version which is not deployed and feedback is received. Likewise, in the third cycle, the third product version is created and feedback is received. The phases are repeated in subsequent cycles up to the last cycle when the final or desired product version is created, accepted and delivered to the customer. For this e-commerce example, in the first cycle, the first product version is built but not delivered and feedback is received. This feedback is used to modify the first product version in the second cycle and new features search by categories, preview product, update product in cart and shipping information are also developed to create a second product version which is not delivered but feedback is received. Likewise, in the third cycle, the third product version is created, not delivered and feedback is received. In the last cycle, the final product version is created, accepted and delivered to the customer. Note that in this example, each product version includes requirement from the four modules, search product, inspect product, shopping cart and checkout. For example, the first product version includes basic search product detail, add product to cart and payment method from the four modules. Also, for the payday loan example, in the first cycle, the first product version is built but not delivered and feedback is received. This feedback is used to modify the first product version in the second cycle and new features, view and update profile, view a standing loan, pay by email transfer and approve loan application are also developed to create a second product version which is not delivered but feedback is received. Likewise, in the third cycle, the third product version is created, not delivered, feedback is received. In the last cycle, the final product version is created, accepted 
and deliver to the customer. Note that in this example, each product version includes requirement from the four modules, client profile and income, low requests and utilities, low payment and admin utilities. For example, the first product version includes registration and login, apply for loan online, view and set payment schedules, and verify client job and income from the four modules. So in summary, we use iterative life cycle for projects where the product may be compressed or fairly unpredictable and changes are expected, where there is need to show development progress to the customer and gain a better understanding of the product, where it is desirable to have one single delivery in the last cycle after several cycles of refinement. Thanks for watching. Please drop your comments, subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified when we come up with new videos.